Hey, how's it going? Kenny here and welcome back to episode 2 of the Chelsea Save. And up in today's video, we have games at home to Liverpool and away to Dortmund. So unfortunately, it hasn't been the greatest of starts to the season here with Chelsea. It hasn't been terrible though. As you can see, we're sitting 6th in the league with 16 points from our first 8 games. So an average of 2 points a game. And also we lost the first game of the season, of course, 4-1 away to Man City. So maybe I'm being a little bit harsh, but you, you'll see what I mean when you see the results there. But we have such a big game here just early on in the season, the home to Liverpool. As you can see, they're top of the league with 21 points. We're sitting sick with 16 points. If we lose this game, we're already eight points off the top of the league. So um, that's going to be tricky, even with, what, 29 games left to go after this one to win the title from that point. So if we win this game, though, we'll go within two points off the top of the table because we'll only be two points behind Liverpool there. So it's a very, very big game, in my opinion, and a game that I feel like we must win. We've been quite good at home so far this season. Away from home, though, is a different story. Also featured in the episode, we've got Dortmund away in the Champions League. Of course, Chelsea just knocked out Dortmund in real life in the Champions League. This is different, though. This is the group stage, and uh, we've actually got... Dortmund, no, Liverpool, Dortmund. Yeah, Liverpool, Dortmund, Leicester, and Dortmund again. So the next four games are very, very tricky. In terms of the recent results, though, as I said, it's been going all right. But um, yeah, some very iffy results in here. We beat Arsenal 2-0, of course, in the last episode there as well. We then beat Southampton 6-1 at home in the next game. But when I say that we're lucky to even win this game, I mean we're lucky to win this game. The fact that it was 6-1 is just a pure and utter disgrace in terms of Southampton's part because we did not deserve to win this game 6-1. By any means, uh, we were very lucky to go in at halftime 1 0 up. Very lucky indeed. We had a crazy period in the 60 minute mark there. And Kai Havertz, who'd been our best player of the season so far, I'll go into him in more detail in a second. He scored four goals in this game. Mason Mount with two goals as well. Uh, it's a 6 1 win, so you've got to be quite happy with it, but didn't deserve to win the game 6 1. If we deserve to win the game, it was by, it was by one or two goals maximum. Southampton were really good, especially in the first half there. Uh, we probably deserve to win in the second half, to be fair. We scored five goals in the second half, but 6-1 is definitely flattering towards us. After that was an absolute disgrace, an absolute shambles of a result. Couldn't believe what I was seeing. We lost away to Nottingham Forest 4-3. To concede four goals to Nottingham Forest is almost, should be illegal really. It's absolutely pathetic. Absolutely pathetic this was. We were 2-0 down in this game. Three goals from Brennan Johnson and Danilo. Kai Havertz again, popping up for us. He gave us a chance, made it 2-2. Two, -two. two goals, based of three minutes. Then they made it 3-2 through Awanii. And then uh, Matuiki made it 3-3. Three, three. And then Niakati made it 4-3 in the 75th minute. It was an absolute shambles of a game, as I said. Uh, they really did batter us on the counter-attack there. The pace of Johnson, Awanii, and um, Gibbs-White as well, I think. So, yeah. It's a pathetic result. We haven't lost since that game, though, which is nice. But to concede four goals to Forest is just ridiculous. After that, beat Everton at home 2-0. Joao Felix with the two goals in this game. That was nice. After that, we drew away to Newcastle 1-1, uh, which is actually quite a decent result in the end. Newcastle, obviously, a good team. Uh, it's very seventh this season. So to get a draw away to them was quite nice. We lost our first two away games of the season, conceding four goals in both of them. So uh, it was nice to only concede one goal in this game and get a draw. Uh, Kai Havertz, again, the rescuer for us. He got the equaliser in the second half. After that, two wins in a row. We beat Ajax at home 2-0 uh, in the Champions League first group game. Joao Felix and Mudrik on the score sheet there. Mudrik's first goal for the club. After that, he played uh, local rivals Fulham at home. A, uh, a rare goal score there. N'Golo Conte with the winner in the 69th minute to make it 1-0. Uh, I didn't ever think the goal was going to come in this game. We were battering Fulham, but we weren't creating too many click opportunities. In the end, it took to a surprise goal score to win us the game. But in the end, it's a, go it's a win, so that's all that matters. And just before the episode, the last two games, shocking draw away the club bruise in the Champions League. During that game, 1-1. That was really disappointing. Joao Felix on the score sheet there. And just before the episode, played Aston Villa away from home. Beat them 1-0, which is nice. Our first away win of the season. Sterling with the goal as well. But it did help the fact that Tyrone Mings got sent off after seven minutes. So as you can see here at the start of the new season, it's a bit iffy. It's a bit iffy to tell you the truth. Uh, we got a 6-1 win in there at home to Southampton. But as I said, we did not deserve to win that game 6-1. See, four goals to Nottingham Forest. Barely beat Fulham. Drew away to Club Bruges. Only beat Aston Villa because they got players and off after seven minutes as well. So it's just not been a great start to the season by any means. But... We are sixth in the league. We're doing all right in the Champions League. One win and one draw. So hopefully things can start to improve as things go on. Uh, if we beat Liverpool, beat Dortmund in this episode, then things have really taken a turn for us. And that is brilliant. It's going to be tricky to get two wins out of this episode, though. Liverpool at home, Dortmund away. 
very, very tricky. In terms of the squad, well, Kai Havertz has been the greatest player of the season so far. Eight goals, four of them coming at Southampton, but still doing really well. I'm still sticking to it. I'm not playing with a uh, an out-and-out -out number nine. I'm playing with a deep-lying forward and support most of the time. False nine sometimes, but it's mainly deep-lying forward and support. Kai Havertz seems to be flourishing there. Eight goals in just seven starts, which is great. Also, Reese James, well, one of our key players, has to be said. Four assists for him in nine starts. He's doing really well. Kepa as well. Edward Mendy's been terrible so far this season. And also, he came demanding a new contract. I told him to uh, to stick it, basically. And uh, now he's very unhappy. Five games, he got 6.76. Kepa, on the other hand, five games with 7.3. So, I think it's safe to say Kepa has taken the number one jersey off Mendy at the start of this new season. Conte's been good as well. But apart from these uh, these three here, Havertz, James, and Kepa, no one else is really standing out. But Conte's doing well for Fana, Kudabali. Joao Felix has got five goals in six starts. So he's doing quite decent. In terms of the other players who've been absolutely terrible so far, uh, well, Pulisic, he started three games, got 6.58. He's been absolutely woeful. And also, I'm very surprised about this. And I'm, very, uh, I'm very annoyed about this, to be honest. Thiago Silva has been terrible. Absolutely terrible. In seven games, he's got 6.61 average rating. So it seems like foot manager is not the place for Thiago Silva. He's been awful so far. Really awful. Um... Mudrik hasn't done, doesn't, hasn't done much, to be honest. He only started two games, though. Uh, Enzo Fernandez hasn't been great with 6.78. He's been quite underwhelming. Um, Badia Shilly's getting a bit better, it has to be said. Raheem Sterling, as well, started the season terribly. But the last two games, he's done really well. So, apart from really Thiago Silva, no one's having an awful season. Uh, you know, Pulisic has not done too well, but he hasn't got his uh, match up that's completely up yet. Thiago Silva's been really underwhelming. And the only one who's been really impressive is, uh, is Havertz, to be honest. So the team is not really clicking as of yet, but we're sixth in the league. We've got Liverpool at home first. Can we start off the episode with a win? Okay, well, I have to be honest. I am nervous about this game. Uh, very nervous, in fact. Liverpool are top of the league currently. Liverpool, of course, are a very, very good club, especially in foot manager. Not so good in the real life this year, but in foot manager, they're still absolutely amazing. So I'm nervous about this one. But one piece of good news is, though, I cannot see Salah in the starting 11. So that could be one benefit for us. Um, I really hope he's nowhere near the first team. So that is absolutely great. The fact that Liverpool without Salah, it makes him a far weaker team in my opinion. So with Salah playing, I was uh, looking to tweak things a little bit. You know, Chilwell was not going to be on attack, but Harvey Elliott is supposedly starting on the right wing there. Harvey Elliott is a great player. I really, I really rate him, but he's no Mo Salah, especially on the right wing there. So I've got Chilwell on attack still. And also I decided that last minute here, I'm going to stick with a positive mentality at home. We've won every single home game so far this season. Stick with a high press as well. I just looked at Liverpool's team and um, doesn't look as good as you think it would do. So I'm staying positive here. And in terms of the team sheet, got Kepper in goal, uh, Reese James right back, Chilwell left back, Koulibaly and Fafana centre backs. We've got Conte, Mount, and Kovacic midfield. Havertz on the right, Sterling on the left. And Felix up front. Also, I changed to a false nine today. Uh, I did say I'll play with a deep line forward and support uh, most of the time. But I feel like this is a sort of game up against Van Dijk and Canate. A false nine uh, could get a bit more joy than a deep line forward. Uh, maybe I'm completely wrong. I have no idea. That's just what I'm thinking right now. Uh, Havertz on attack as well. Normally got them on support. I'm going with pretty much the form 11 as well. As you see here, Koulibaly and Fofana. Not really the two best centre-backs of the club, you'd say. Uh, you know, Thiago Silva is probably the best centre-back of the club in real life, especially. But as I said, this season so far has been terrible. Koulibaly, when he's come in, he's done really well. 7.04 for him. Fofana's been a, a mainstay at centre-back this season as well. Uh, Rhys James is really on form. Chilwell started off quite poorly, but he's doing really well recently. Conte, Mount Kovacic. No Fernandes today. Liverpool at home. Can we start off the episode with a win? Well, let's find out. Before we get started with this game, guys, please remember that if you like the video, to hit that like button for me. And also, if you're new around here, do consider hitting that subscribe button as well. It'd really help me out. I'd be much appreciate as well. So just seeing the uh, the starting 11s as well and the sub bench, there is no Mo Salah. So that is a massive, massive benefit for us. Hopefully, we can take advantage of it. Looking at Liverpool's 11 here, it was going to pop up for us. There we are. Front three of Nunez, Diaz and Elliot. You know, it's uh, it's good. It's very good, in fact. But I've seen a lot better front threes of Liverpool. You know, Manny, Manny on the left. Salah on the right, that's much more scary. Anyway, one minute in, we've got a highlight straight away here. Reese, oh my word, Reese, what a start that would have been. Reese James with an acrobatic effort from like 40 yards out, hit the top of the bar, never really was going in the back of the net, but it was an early chance for us there. But since then, Liverpool starting to take uh, dominance of the match here, which I don't like to see. Well, 20 minutes in, apart from that acrobatic effort from Reese James, nothing else has happened in this game at all. This has been absolutely terrible so far. This is no blockbuster at all. We finally get a highlight here. Here's Chilwell with the ball. 
to Sterling. Had a good couple of games, as I said. Started off really poorly. Here's Conte out to James. Acres of space here, James. Go on, mate. Drive forward with the ball. Havertz. Oh, poor first touch there from Havertz. Really poor. Allison kicks it long. Mm, Nunez wins the header, but no one there to run onto the ball. Anyway, here's Fafana to Mount. Havertz. Back to Fafana. Nice. Out to James. Crosses it in. No, no one there. It's on the highlight, though. Oh, my word. Navi Kato's through here. Nothing stupid. Nothing stupid. Oh, for goodness sake. Why? Why does that happen? Well, we're 1-0 down in this massive crunch game. Don't know what's happening there. Why has Kato got acres of space like that? And also, you got four against two at that point. We can't deal with the danger. Comes off the bit unlucky. Comes off the post. And comes back to, uh, to Nunez there. But this has been a terrible first half from us, actually. You see here, Liverpool are firmly the better team in the game so far. Really, really poor. Really, really poor. Terrible first half. Really, really shocking. And uh, we're quite lucky that it's only 1-0, to be honest. Well, just a slight tweak at half time here. We need to start creating some chances at least in this game. 1-0 down, of course. Uh, Kovacic is off. Madwiki is on. And I've also moved Havertz in there as a shadow striker. To hopefully start getting some chances in the game. We shall see. It could be a disaster, though. We could end up scoring a uh, conceded 2 or 3 now. But got to go for something here. Because that first half was absolutely abysmal. Not a shot on target in the match so far in the game. Which is just, well, nowhere near good enough, let's be honest. Not like the second half has been much better here. Been absolutely horrendous so far. Really, really poor, this. Really, really poor. Well, Joao Felix is not doing up good up front today, so I'm going to take him off now. Um, I need to bring on, though. You know, none of these three are putting up any trees, are they? Let's be honest. Out of the three, though, I think I'll bring on Mudrich. Um, well, I've got Mudrich on now. Brought him on for um, Joao Felix, a poor game. I've changed it to a deep line forward and support as well. Put Havertz up there. Put Sterling as a shadow striker as well. Also brought on Kukurea. For Chilwell, got a bit more positive as well. Um, a bit more direct passing, higher tempo, etc. Let's try and get a draw in this game at least. Can't lose this game. Such a big game. Been a poor start to the season here with Chelsea. I'm not enjoying it. Anyway, we've got a corner here. We've got another chance. Finally in the game. Kula Bali gets in there. Pretty much our only chance of the game so far. Let's be honest. That Reese James effort in the first half there uh, was basically nothing. Kula Bali had a poor game so far. I think he was on a 6.2, but that is certainly going to make up for it there. A leaping header from the from the lad and the goalkeeper pretty much rooted to the spot. Do I stay more positive like this, though? I think I do. I think I do. Why is Mudrich up front, by the way? What is going on there? For some reason, Mudrich was up front there. I've, I've changed it back to Havertz up front. 14 minutes to go in this game. 11 minutes to go. It's been a very, very boring game so far, but it's 1-1. I'll take it the way we're playing, but now with 11 minutes to go, can we grab a winner in this game? Here's Kukurea on the pitch with Chilwell. Crosses it in, but it's cleared. There's Naby Keita. That should be dealt with. It's got to be dealt with. Fofana. Back to Koulibaly, the goal scorer. Here's Mason Mount. Looking like a, a better team here in the game now. Here's Conte to James. Still James. Pass back to... Oh, no. How on earth is that happening? What are you doing? That's so simple. That's ridiculous. Well, we're lucky he took a terrible decision there, Nunez, because they had acres of space through the middle there, and he should have played one of his teammates through. That has really dodged a bullet there for us. Let's concede now, of course. Well, you know what? I'm going to calm down a little bit here. going to calm down a little bit. Staying positive in the game, but made a slight tweak here just to... Um, Try and defend a bit better, we shall say. But I'm getting a little bit nervous towards the end here. Alexander Arnold just runs for him like he's not even there. Seven minutes to go in this game. Would there be a winner? I mean, quite poor, let's be honest. Liverpool being the better team in the game. Four minutes added time. Looks like it's in that 1-1. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm not too happy, but the way that we played in the game, 1-1. Got to take it, really, haven't you? Got to take it. Liverpool, by far, the better team in the game. Uh, we gifted them that goal, though, let's be honest. That 33-minute goal. Could have barely uh, headed goal there from a corner. Pretty much the only chance we had in the game, what we could see of anyway. 0.51 XG. Wasn't the best of performances for us, let's be honest. Um, still not really finding our feet completely here with Chelsea. Um, but we didn't lose the game. We didn't lose the game, so that is something, I guess. 
But it could be a whole lot better, couldn't it? Could be a whole lot better. We need to do a whole lot better, that is for sure. Definitely need to do a whole lot better. We're up into the Champions League places now, but I think we're the first team, first game of the uh, of the week here. So can't really shout out too much. We're still five points off the top. Things certainly need to improve going forward if we're going to mount any sort of title challenge this season. That is for sure. But anyway, make sure you stick around, guys. Cut up next. We've got Dortmund away in the Champions League. Okay, here we are. It's time for Dortmund away from home. Another game I'm uh, I'm quite nervous about, I have to be honest. I've switched up to a balanced mentality for this game. Um, Dortmund, we've got some very quick players, especially Adeyemi up front, who's got 19 acceleration, I think it is, and 18 pace. 18 acceleration and 18 pace. So he's a very, very quick striker, Adeyemi. So I've got drop-off more on there today. Badi Ashilian for Fana. Hopefully we don't concede so much space for him, because that would be... Um, Almost disastrous, probably. In terms of the uh, the team sheet, well, Badi Shili comes in in place of Kula Bali. Uh, a bit unlucky for him to be dropped, considering he scored the equaliser against Liverpool there. But Badi Shili comes in for today's game. Give him a go. Uh, Chilwell James remain in the team, as does Kepa and Fofana. Uh, in terms of midfield, Fernandez comes in to replace uh, Kovacic. Give him Fernandez a go today, see what he can do. Madwiki starts on the right as well. Effectively replaces Joao Felix, who hasn't been great really uh, recently, to be honest. Havertz moves up front as a deep line forward on support. And Sterling, I've got him on the inside forward on attack for today's game. Hopefully, he can help exploit Hummels, who has got ridiculously slow pace here in FM. So Dortmund away from home. Can we end the episode on a high? Well, let's find out. Well, we've only won one away game all season so far. And that was away to Aston Villa at 10 men for 83 minutes. So away from home, we really are struggling at the moment. And two minutes in, we've got a highlight straight from kickoff. Uh, already Adeyemi's run through on goal. Um, but Kepa catches it quite easily. But not a great start to the match already. Already Dortmund on top. Obviously Jude Bellingham played today's game as well. Well, 12 minutes in, we're starting to get something in the game now. Still yet to see another highlight, though. I think I'll take a draw away to Dortmund, to be honest. This is the hardest game of the group stage, you'd say, for us. Uh, obviously, at home to Dortmund in the next group game as well. We can get a draw here, beat them at home. I'll be very happy with that. So, if we can draw this game, I'll be happy with that. A win would be uh, very nice, of course. I think a win would effectively seal our qualification from the group. Uh, we've got Ajax and Club Bruges still to play again, but Club Bruges at home should be able to win that one. Anyway, Sterling, got a score. He does score. Is it offside, though? It's going to VAR. I'm not used to VAR with my Portsmouth save. Don't get VAR in the lower leagues. So let's see what he's saying here. Looked onside. He is onside. Get in there. Sterling has an inside forward today. He's already scored a goal playing like that. He's been inconsistent this season, Sterling. But I did say the last two games he's done really well. Didn't see much from him against uh, Liverpool. But in today's game, he's already scored. So great start to the match for us. That's what we like to see. 1-0 up here against Dortmund, but obviously Dortmund are a very, very good team, so a 1-0 lead is nothing to shout about too much, that is for sure. Been quite an even first half, it has to be said, but we are winning the game. Wasn't a great first half again, but we are winning the game, which is nice. Keeping them quite quiet as well. Well, I've gone with a little bit of a tweak at half time. Dortmund are really pushing us back in this game, so I've gone with a cautious mentality now. I've got to put the low block in there as well. Maybe just try and stay defensively stable and try and hit him on the counter attack. Let's see what happens here. But at the start of the second half here, 15 minutes in, nothing has happened at all. So I guess that's a good thing for us because it remains 1 0, of course. Uh, Reese James with a very, very rare poor game today. Very rare indeed. Um, Aspilicueta is unregistered for the Champions League. He had to leave two players out. Aspilicueta, uh, don't really see him as very usable, to be honest, especially as a fullback. Uh, as a centre back, it just, I just don't see him usable at all, to be honest. And uh, Obama Yang, he's unregistered as well. Uh, Reese James is knackered, not having a great game. So you know what? I think I'm going to put Fofana as right back. And I'm bringing Kulabali on, not bringing on Thiago Silva, especially up against Adeyemi there. Thiago Silva's been terrible so far this season. And um, Adeyemi is a very, very quick player, of course. Put for Fanner on fullback support as well. Um, Till was had a terrible game as well, so I'm going to take him off and put Kukurea on there. Fullback support as well. Yeah, I think that'll do for now. Both the fullbacks off um, in real life. Arguably, Chelsea's biggest creators are both the fullbacks. But in today's game, they've been quite poor. But at the moment, we're just doing a team effort. At the moment, it's a team effort. Nothing much is happening in the game. We're keeping Dortmund quiet. We've got our goal. If we can just hold on to a 1 0 win, I'll be ecstatic with that. Kai Havertz, not a great game today either. So let's bring on Joao Felix for him. And. Again, Enzo Fernandez is not impressing me at all, really. Not impressing me. Hasn't done much here in a Chelsea shirt, to be honest. Um, Madwiki's not doing too much either. No, I'm going to bring on Madrich for Madwiki. Playing as a winger on attack. He's a very quick player, Madrić. 20 minutes to go. A 1-0 win will certainly do. One other highlight here, though, which hasn't usually happened in this game. Here's Hummels with the ball. Very slow. Especially in foot manager, Hummels. Very, very slow. Oh, no. Someone who's not slow, though, is Adeyemi. But what a save from Kepa. 
Was that not offside? Well, it's very hard playing up against a player with 18 acceleration, 18 pace. You can try your best to deal with it, but it's always hard to deal with. Anyway, Kukurea gets there just for Wolf there. But Dortmund's pressure is dying to come. And Bino Gittens, oh my word, I thought that was in. The young Englishman Bino Gittens with a headed chance there. Dortmund piling up the pressure here late on in the game. 10 minutes to go. We've only had six shots and three on target in the match so far. But as I said, we've got our winning goal at the moment as it stands. Badia Shilly, oh my word. Thought that was going to be 2-0 there, but just wide of the post. A couple minutes to go in this game. Can we hold on here to a nice win? Let's start time wasting here. Look at that tempo lower as well. Slow the pace down. Don't need to do that anymore. Two minutes will we hold on. Oh, no. We've got another highlight. It's corner for us, though. Can we get 2-0? Kill him off. Good Bali. Ready scored? No. Is that it? I hope so. Oh, no. They score late on here. I'm going to be devastated here. Absolutely devastated. I don't know what Kukurea was trying to do there. But anyway, he gets the ball now. Come on. Just hold on to the ball. Don't give it away. Fernandez, don't give it away. All right, Felix. What on earth is that? What on earth is that? Very technically gifted player, my ass. What on earth was that from Felix? That was awful. Anyway, it didn't lead to a goal. Didn't lead to a goal. It's still 30 seconds to go in this game. Kepa, time waste, mate. Kicks it long. All right, Felix with the ball. Can he pass it better this time? He can't pass the ball. He literally cannot pass the ball. What on earth is happening? Anyway, five seconds to go. We're going to hold on here. Not a great win, but an important win. Yes, get in. An important win. You know, Drew at home Liverpool 1-1. Beat Dortmund away 1-0 in the Champions League. It could have been a whole lot worse in this episode. Not two great performances, but in, on the whole, this performance here today away to Dortmund... It was quite a good team effort. Let's be honest, Dortmund did not have too many clear, clear cut opportunities. Adeyemi went through on goal a couple of times, but wasted his opportunities there. Especially that goal there, you can see by the XG. That was a big opportunity for Dortmund. Um, but Kepa saved it very nicely. Good win, good win. Fernandez even got a 7 rating as well, so that is nice to see. As I said, surely that is the hardest game we're going to play in the Champions League group stage. Surely after winning that now... We're almost guaranteed to qualify from the group. As you can see, the Ajax on one point as well. They must have lost. They got battered by Club Bruges. So even if we just beat Club Bruges at home, and I think we're guaranteed to um, to top the group, to be honest. Dortmund at home in the next uh, next group game as well. Win that, then I think it's safe to say we're definitely qualified. So hopefully we can do that. But yeah, not the greatest of episodes. We're not really uh, banging the goals in for fun at the minute. As you can see, the last five games, we've only scored one goal in all of them. So not banging the goals in at all. But we're kind of grinding out results in a minute. Uh, home to Liverpool. We were quite poor, so to get a draw out of that game was quite nice. Uh, but still, we need to do better. We're going to do something um, significant this season, it has to be said. you know, We need to do something better than this to do something, um, to really go places this season. So hopefully we can do that. The month of October is very, very hectic, as you can see. Pretty much two games every single week. There is two games every single week. But we've got some definitely very winnable fixtures in there. Away to Leicester up next. They're obviously a decent team. Home to Dortmund. You've got Wolves at home next, uh, after that. Brentford away. Palace at home, Club Bruges, Bournemouth as well. So hopefully we can climb the league a little bit between now and the next episode. We're sixth currently still. So hopefully we can be in the top four at least by the next episode. That would be nice. And hopefully we can get the jobs done at home to Dortmund and at home to Club Bruges as well. In terms of the next episode though, guys, I'm going to bring you back for the games. Away to Ajax, which is the final Champions League group game, where hopefully we've already qualified. And away to West Ham as well, which of course is a tricky match. And thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember that if you like the video, Hit that like button for me. It's really important for the video to get seen by more people. And also, if you're new around here, do consider hitting that subscribe button as well. It'd really help me out and he much appreciated. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.